Okay, so I think we can probably start adding some of the actual logos and, and everything to this. So let's just uh, go out and I'm just going to open up uh, this reference image that we used uh, when we model it just so I can see where the, uh, the labels are at. Okay. And we'll go back and just open up maybe the... Uh, let's maybe start with these guys here. Just make these a little bigger. Right, so we'll take this logo here that goes on the side and just open that up. All right, and I think for this, I'm just going to try to select the uh, the white part. So I'm just going to go to the magic wand and just click on it. All right, let's click on the red, and then I'm just going to hit Control Shift I to invert the selection. Okay, and we'll just copy out the centerpiece here. Control C. All right, go back to our uh, map, and we'll just paste this in. Control V. Okay, it's going to be a little too big, obviously. All right, let's turn our UVs back on. All right, so we'll just move it up here, um, and we're going to have to scale it down. Let's just check our reference again. Alright, so I just want to make sure I have it facing the right way, which I don't. Okay, so let's just put this one over here. Okay, and we'll do Control T, and I'm just going to scale it on the corner holding Shift. And we'll just go down a little bit to shrink it up. Alright, just a bit like that. I'm going to try to center it on the side panel. Okay, and it looks a little bent here. Let's just check this. Alright, so with Control T again, I'm just going to try to rotate it. And you can do that by just going outside the uh, box here and just uh, clicking and dragging. So I'll just try to rotate it so it's a little straighter. Okay, and then hit enter. Alright, so that's okay. I think it's too big though. Let's scale it down a little more. Alright, we can always check this in max and see how the placement is. So I'm just going to stick it maybe right like there. Just for now, hit enter. Okay, and then we want one on the other side, so I'm just going to grab a ruler and just drag it down so I can see where the bottom is. Alright, so they'll be even. And you can turn your uh, rulers on just in the view panel. Just go down and hit rulers, okay? And then you can just drag from the bar down and it'll give you a ruler in either direction, okay? And if you want to get rid of them, you can just drag them up into the top and they'll disappear. Alright, so let's copy this again. Control A, Control C, Control V. Alright, we'll drag it up and push it on the other side there. And we want to have it facing the other way, so let's do Control T. Right click, flip horizontal. Alright, let's just try to position it on that line. Okay, maybe just like that, hit enter. Alright, so we should probably check this out inside of Max just to get a better idea of how it's actually going to look on the model. Okay, so let's turn off the UVs and we'll just go up and file and save. Alright, just update the changes on our saved one and we'll go back into uh, Max here. Alright, so I'm just going to get rid of this uh, skylight by deleting it. We don't need it anymore. Okay, and uh, let's just uh, go back into the render dialog. And I think I'll just do this with a standard uh, shader. So I'm going to change the renderer back to uh, just scanline. Alright, and again, I'm not going to go over the rendering uh, process just because uh, I usually use V-Ray to render and uh, it can take a lot of time tweaking the uh, materials and everything and setting up the lights. So yeah, I'll just leave that to you and whatever renderer you use. But uh, we'll just use scanline to set up our material. Okay, so we'll switch that back. Open up the material editor. Okay, and we'll just grab a new material. Open up the diffuse map box there choose bitmap and then we'll just go to the desktop find our uh, mailbox diffuse and just say open and ok alright and then we'll turn on show and viewport and just drag and drop it All right, it's gonna look pretty dark in here because we don't have any lighting but uh, just check the placement of these All right, so they look like they could go back maybe a little bit alright so let's go back to Photoshop and we'll just move them a little bit again. Turn our UVs back on first. Alright, so I'm just going to push it a little bit back towards the back there. Grab the ruler again. Okay, let's grab the other one. I'll just move it back a little bit. All right, they don't have to be absolutely perfect. I mean, you can only see one side of the box at a time, so you would never notice if they're not the same. But uh, we'll try to center them as best we can. Okay, and... The size, I guess, looks about right, so I think I'll leave leave it at that size. Okay, so let's turn off the UVs and just save again. And we'll jump back into Max and just uh, see how that looks. Alright, 
so I think it's probably close enough you can uh, adjust the placement a little more if you want to but for the sake of speed I'll just leave it like that okay and let's actually name these so for layer one let's just call it something like maybe uh, wing logo or something just so we know it's that one okay and then I'm just gonna copy the name out control C and we'll paste it into our layer two name and just add a two okay and I'm gonna leave these just on normal and 100% uh, right now okay because we'll probably overlay some dirt on it okay so it'll break it up a little more than it is right now alright so let's take a look at our reference picture here alright so we got those done um, we're gonna have to add some of these labels to the front and the Canada text to the bottom down here alright so we might want to do that next alright I'm just gonna close this we don't need it anymore okay so we'll we'll add that Canada writing alright so let's go open back into our texture folder just grab it here and open okay and for this I'm just going to select the black with the magic wand and then hold uh, shift and just select the insides of the A's and the D okay just so we have everything and I'm going to invert it control shift I so just the white text is selected and then we'll control C to copy the text alright and we can close that alright jump back over here and I'm just going to paste it on top of our wing logo 2 layer alright it's going to be way too big so let's uh, control T it all right, and we'll just scale it way down. It'll go pretty small here. All right, we'll just drag it down. All right, this is our lower door here, and that's where we want it, right on the bottom there. All right, we might actually be able to open up our other picture that we had. This one here. All right, so yeah, it's just down on the lower door. Oops forgot to uh, enter that so I'll just scale it down again alright drag it down make it a little smaller right, so I'm gonna stick it maybe like right there and just hit enter okay let's zoom in and let's turn our UVs on too alright so I'm just gonna try to center it on the door okay just like that maybe and uh, I think I'll just leave it at uh, normal and 100% for now as well. Okay, so let's uh, fit this back on screen. I'm just going to get rid of this ruler here. We don't need it. Okay, and we'll turn our UVs off. All right, and just save one more time. And just check the uh, updated one in max. All right. I just want to make sure I didn't do it too big or too small. Right, might have to go down a little bit in size. Okay, so let's do that. Alright, so Control T, and we'll just scale it ever so slightly. Enter. Okay. Alright, let's check that out. Save. Alright, that's probably a little better don't want it to be too massive on there okay so let's just name that and we'll just call it uh, I don't know Canada logo okay just so I know what it is okay so we'll just continue on and uh, add the rest of the labels all right I think I'll do this blue Canada post one next okay so let's go file open back into our folder and uh, I just have this one here all right so I'm gonna open this one up Alright, and I'm just going to copy the whole thing, Control A, Control C. Alright, we'll close it, and we'll just paste it, and I'm going to paste it on top of the uh, Canada logo layer. Alright, Control V. Alright, so there it is there. Alright, so I'm just going to turn the UVs on. Okay, we want this to be uh, on our top door, so I'm just going to move it down. Okay, and let's zoom in on that. Alright, so just going to check our reference again. Alright, so it looks like it goes the entire width of the door. Okay, so we're going to have to scale this up a bit. Alright, it's going to maybe, you know, lose a little quality when we do that, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so let's control T. And I'm just going to scale it on the corner, holding shift. Alright, just so it's close to the full width of our door. Alright, maybe like that. Just hit enter. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the UVs for a second just to make sure the uh, position is where we want it. All right, you can see it has this uh, slight blue border around it. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and I couldn't find a better resolution one, so that's why I'm using this one, even though it's a little pixelated. 
Alright, so I'm just going to drag a selection around the side there, just the edge, and delete, get rid of it, and then the same with the bottom here. Delete that. Okay, just to clean it up a little bit. Alright, so let's just get it in there. Alright, maybe like that. Let's uh, zoom out. Okay, and again, I'm just going to leave it at uh, normal and 100% for now, and we might change that after. Alright, so let's also add the uh, delivery times up here. Or the pickup times, I guess it is. Alright, and I couldn't find a picture of just this by itself, um, so I think I'm actually going to try to cut it off of this picture and use it. Okay, so let's just go to the selection uh, tool again, and I'm just going to drag selection around this, get most of it. Just want to chop the ends off because they're on an angle, obviously. So maybe like that, okay, and then we'll just control C, copy it out. And let's paste this on. Alright, and uh, we'll just move it up for a second. Alright, let's name these layers too. So I'm just going to name this one uh, Collection Times. Okay, and the other one here, I'll just call this uh, Canada Post. Okay, just so we can keep track. Alright, so let's select the, the Collection Time one again, and I'm just going to move it down here to the door. Alright, we'll zoom in. Alright, turn our UVs on. Alright, let's take another look here. Alright, so it doesn't go the full width of the door. Alright, so let's uh, do Control T. Alright, and we'll just scale it down. Okay, and we'll just move it over into the center here. Try to center it. Alright, and enter. Okay, so let's just turn the UVs off, see how it looks. Alright, so let's uh, fit to screen again. Okay, so I'm just going to save and uh, check it out in max just to make sure it looks like it's sitting there okay. Okay, so when you're getting closer you're going to notice it's, it's kind of blurry. Um, but at a distance back here it should look it should look right. Okay, I think the size is uh, pretty good and the placement's uh, about right too. Okay. And again, I'm just going to leave it at normal and 100% for now. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're getting there. Uh, we're going to have to start adding our dirt and grime pretty soon. Um, I think before I do that, though, I'm just going to add, uh, like, a graffiti tag to the side just to give it a little more detail. Okay. So I'm just going to turn the EVs back on, and we'll go out and uh, open up one here. All right, I have this one saved. Okay, so I'm just going to open that up. All right, and for this, I'm just going to try to select just the text. So I'm going to use the magic wand again. Let's try clicking on the black, actually, and see if we can select it that way. All right, so we'll just click on the black, hold uh, Shift, and just click on the top of the eye there, and uh, do Control C, copy it, and then we'll go back and just paste it. Control V, okay. And let's just move it up. All right, it's way too big. Let's uh, do Control T, and we'll just scale this down a bit. It doesn't need to be that massive. All right, and I'm just going to stick it up here, I think. Right, I might rotate it. Chances are some dude wouldn't uh, write it perfectly straight when he was taking it. In that case, we'll give it a bit of an angle. Alright, maybe like that. I'm just going to leave it overlapping the uh, the logo here a bit. Okay. And let's name this uh, tag so we know what it is. Well, let's also change the blend mode to maybe multiply. Alright, we'll see how that looks. Alright, I might take the opacity down just a little on that so it's not so... Uh, Intense. All right, let's go maybe uh, 75 or so. That should be okay. And again, we'll overlay some dirt and stuff to kind of blend it in a bit better. All right, so let's uh, zoom back out, turn off our UVs. All right, do a save. And we'll just see how it looks in Max. Alright, so it might be a little too big, and I think it's a little too close to the front here too. Okay, so let's go back and just control T again and just scale it down a little smaller. And again, you can put this wherever you want. You don't have to put it right here if you don't want to. Alright, so that might be a little more uh, manageable. Okay, so let's save one more time and just check it out. Alright, so yeah, I think that that size is better. Okay, so we'll do that for the tag. And you can add more if you want to. But I think I'll just do the one for now. 
Okay, so I'm just going to close the uh, tag. We don't need that anymore. All right. And I don't think we really need this open uh, right now either. Um, you'll notice it has another uh, label here, this express post one. And the only reason I didn't add that is because I couldn't find a good picture to use um, for the texture. And I don't think cutting it off here is really going to work too good. Um, so I'm just going to leave that off. And it's not on every mailbox that you see, but some of them do have it. But uh, we'll just leave it off. Okay, so let's just close this for now. We don't need it open. All right, so before we add the uh, the dirt and the grime uh, to this, I'm just going to add one more detail to the other side of the body here. Um, and it's actually my brother Ben's idea. Uh, he thought it might be cool if I added a, like a shoe print or a boot print to the side of it just so it looks like, you know, maybe someone kicked the mailbox over at some point. Um, and I'm sure that happens all the time, so I thought it was a pretty good idea. So I'm just going to add that now. So we'll go open again. And I just have a tread pattern here that I found online, so I'm going to open that up. All right, we'll just copy the whole thing, Control-A, Control-C, and then close it. All right, I'm just going to paste it on top of the tag layer here, Control-V. All right, so we should probably shrink it down. Um, you know, the guy would have to be, you know, massive to have a foot that big, so let's just uh, Control-T it, and I'm just going to spin it around so it's upright. And I'm just going to put it on maybe a slight angle. Okay, and I'll move it over here, and let's scale it down. Way too big. All right, we'll just position it somewhere here and just hit enter. Okay, you can turn our UVs on too. All right, so let's maybe change the uh, mode to uh, multiply to get rid of our white. And I don't want to leave it just uh, you know perfect like that because that's going to look totally phony. So let's uh, take the opacity down a bit. Try to blend it in a little. All right, I might just set this to like 50 or so right now, and then I'm just going to take the eraser. Okay, and just switch my brush to something that's a little more irregular. Alright, we'll just grab something. Let's just take one of these. Okay, and I'm just going to go in and just kind of erase maybe the heel of it. Right, I don't think we need the whole thing like that. Okay, and let's actually take the opacity down on the brush a little. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of feather parts of it out a bit so it's not so uh, perfect. Alright, try to make it look a little more natural. Alright, get rid of some of the front. The ball of the foot would actually be obviously the part that really hammers it the hardest, so it would leave more of the print there, I think, than the rest of the foot. Alright, so just like that. Okay, pretty simple. And you can leave this off if you want to, or you can change the position of it, doesn't matter. All right, so we'll just do it like that uh, for now, and I might come back later on and actually add some, you know, some scuffs or some streaks to that. But for now, we'll just leave it. Okay, so let's name it. I'm just gonna call it uh, boot print. All right, and let's uh, zoom back out, fit the screen. Okay, and let's just check it out in uh, Max one more time. So I'm gonna turn off the UVs and just save it. Okay, and we'll go back over to Max and just take a look. Alright, so yeah, there it is there. Just subtle. It'll just give it a little more detail. Okay. Alright, so not looking bad. Okay, we got a little ways to go yet, but uh, for a start, it's it's decent, I think. Okay, so let's jump back over to Photoshop. I think I'm just going to add maybe some slight scratches to the surface. Um, and this will really depend on how beat up you want your box to be. Um, you know. I'm overdoing it a little bit, obviously, you know, you rarely see uh, a mailbox that's actually this trashed, but, uh, you know, just for the sake of uh, the tutorial, there's, you know, nothing to say that we can't uh, really wreck ours if we want to, but that'll be up to you, but uh, I'm going to add a little bit more damage, I think, so we'll go open, and I just have this uh, scratch uh, map here, okay, so I'm just going to copy the whole thing, control A, control C, and then close it, and we'll just paste this on top of maybe... Let's just paste it on top of the, the boot print layer for now. Alright, control V. And it's a 2K map, so it fits our, our size perfectly. Um, and we could scale it down a bit, but uh, I might just try it like this and see how it looks. Alright, and we're gonna have to go, you know, pretty subtle on this, else it's gonna look, you know, probably pretty bad. So let's just change the uh, mode to maybe multiply. Okay, and we'll take the opacity way down on this. Alright, just want it to be just subtle. Alright, so I might go maybe around 30% opacity. Alright, and again, adjust that to wherever you feel it needs to be. Ok, 
Okay, so if you turn off the layer, you can see the difference it made. All right, it's subtle, but uh, we don't want to overdo it totally. All right, and we can always, uh, you know, change some of these after if we think it's a little too intense. But for now, I'm just going to leave it, and let's just uh, call it maybe uh, paint uh, dings or something. Okay, or scratches or whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Okay, and let's just uh, save this again. Go back to Max and just uh, see how it looks. Alright, so just going to add, you know, a little bit more wear and tear to it. Alright, so let's go back over, and I think uh, we're probably about ready to start adding some dirt to this. Um, and I think I'm just going to start by adding maybe some slight grunge to the uh, body here. Okay, so let's go back out and open. Alright, just going to look for my uh, grungy maps. Alright, I got one here. This guy. Okay, so I think I might use this. So we'll open this up. And this is a, you know, a fantastic uh, grunge map. Uh, it's a little blurry, but uh, I'm just going to use it for some subtle dirt, so it should be fine. Okay, And if you have another one you want to use, you can. I'm just going to copy the whole thing and close it. And I'm just going to paste this right above our paint color variation layer down here at the bottom. Alright, so control V. Okay. And we'll just position it. And I'm just going to worry about the upper part right now. Alright, I might scale this down a little bit. I do about half at a time, maybe. Alright, so we'll just place it in here. Okay, hit enter, and then I'm going to copy it again. Control A, Control C, and then paste it with Control V. Alright, and we'll just move this one over here, just so it covers the other half. Okay, and I might flip this. Control uh, T, and then flip horizontal. Alright, just so we can uh, blend the color together a bit better. Alright, just going to move it up a little bit. Just want to make sure you don't uh, clip the top here. I might erase some of this, I think, anyway. All right, so I'm just going to stick it like that. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Okay, and then we'll just combine the two with Control-E. All right, and let's just go to the healing brush again, and I'm just going to quickly just uh, patch this seam out right here in the middle. All right, so we'll say Alt, click. Okay, and we'll just go along. Try to hide it a bit. And I think we'll do this on a really low opacity, and I am going to probably erase the upper half of it, so you don't need to worry too much about uh, getting the seam perfect. Alright, let's just get rid of these tiling ones right here. Okay. So no masterpiece, uh, but you can take more time if you want to. Alright, so let's uh, change our blending mode to multiply. Okay. And that's going to get rid of some of the white, um, so we'll just see the dark stuff, okay? And then I'm going to take the opacity down quite a bit. I don't want it to be too overpowering. Alright, so we'll go way down, maybe like 20%. Right, just subtle. I might do... Let's do 25%, and again, you know, if it looks too intense to you, just uh, take it down until it looks good. Alright, so we'll say that's cool, and... I'm just going to erase, I think, the top half of this quickly. Um, we could add a layer mask and actually mask it out, but uh, I don't think we really need to, so I'm just going to use the eraser. All right, I'm going to just switch it to a bigger soft brush. Let's try maybe 35 here. All right, we'll just make the uh, size a little bigger. Okay, and I'm just going to take the uh, opacity back up. Try it on 100, okay, and we'll just uh, kind of get rid of some of this up here on the top half. So I'm just going to kind of sporadically erase. And, you know, generally it's good to, you know, use masks instead of the eraser so you're not actually destroying any of your layers. But um, for this, I think it's fine to do it this way. All right, so just really quick and simple. All right, it's going to be really, really subtle. Uh, but you can see the difference there. Okay, so every little bit will help build it up. And let's name this. I'm just going to call it... Uh, body dirt or something, just so I know it's dirt. Okay. And you could add a little bit of that to the, the lower door here too, but uh, I think I'm just going to leave it like this and we'll add a little bit of dirt to the uh, bottom down here. Alright, so we'll just open up one here and I think for this I'm going to use the uh, this Grunge 2 one I have. Open this up. And this is pretty nasty looking as well, but uh, it should work okay for uh, for doing this. Okay, so Let's uh, copy the whole thing, Control-A, Control-C. 
Alright, and we'll just uh, do this on the base down here. So I'm just going to paste this in. Control V. Alright. Alright, just move it down. And I'm just going to move this uh, layer up above our gray base. Okay, just like that. Alright, so we'll just move it down to the bottom. Alright, we don't want this to be too uh, crazy intense, so we might erase some of it as well, but uh, let's just copy it. Control A, Control C, and paste with Control V. Alright, just so we can get the full width. Alright, maybe like that. I'm just going to try to line it up so the edge of the uh, image is right in the crack there. So it's less noticeable on the seam. Okay, just do that, and then we'll combine them both. Control E. Alright, let's get rid of the uh, overlaying part here. So I'm going to select that upper part. Alright, we can probably leave this actually on this little base piece here. Okay, so we'll just uh, drag a selection like that. And let's zoom in. Okay, and back to the selection. Alright, if you hold down Alt, it'll let you remove a piece of the selection. Okay, so I'm just going to drag around the bottom and the top of the base. Holding Alt, okay. Alright, zoom back out. Alright, and we'll just hit delete to get rid of that stuff. Okay. Alright, so let's change the uh, the blending mode here. Alright, and uh, let's maybe try overlay for this. Alright, and we'll take the opacity way, way down. Alright, I want it to be really, really subtle. a bit. We'll do maybe like 31 or so on the opacity. And we'll just name this uh, Base Dirt. Alright, yeah, it's not looking fantastic right now, but uh, we'll tweak it a little bit and overlay some other stuff. Alright, so let's just go out and open up another uh, picture. Alright, and for this I think I'm just going to use Concrete. So we'll open this one up. And it's a fairly, you know, plain Concrete. You don't want to use anything that's too damaged or wrecked because it's going to not probably look very good um, to work as a grunge map, but uh, I'm just going to go to the healing brush here and just get rid of these little white specks. Alright, shrink the brush way down. Alright, so I'm just going to alt click and then click on these guys just to get rid of them. Alright, let's get rid of a couple of these. It's not really going to matter too much. We're going to probably uh, get rid of some of this anyway. Okay, so we'll just copy it. Control A, Control C, and close. Okay, and we'll just paste it on, Control V. And let's just move it down to the lower part of the base. Okay, and we'll copy it again, Control A, Control C, paste it again with Control V. Alright, so I'm just going to put these along the bottom. Alright, let's flip it, Control T, and flip horizontal. Hit Enter, okay. And we'll do it one more time, Control V, and just fill in the end. Alright, just like that maybe. Okay, and let's uh, combine all three of these layers with Control and then hit E. Okay, and I might just copy this out right now. Control A, Control C, and I'll paste it again. I think I'm going to put it on the uh, upper parts up here too. So I'm just going to drag that up there for now. Okay, and we'll go back down to uh, layer three. All right, let's get rid of this stuff here. So I'm just going to use the selection tool again and just drag a selection across the top there. Alright, hold Alt and just deselect our base piece. Alright, and then we'll hit Delete to get rid of it. Okay, and let's change the blending mode on this to maybe overlay again. Just going to select the uh, red paint layer again, and then uh, with the magic wand just click on that uh, layer. Okay, and then we'll go up to the layer 4 here and just hit Delete. Okay, just remove that uh, from the body again. Okay. And let's just combine layer 3 and 4 together. Control E. Okay, and we'll just switch this back to overlay again. And I'm just going to go in and erase some of it. Okay, so with the eraser again, I'm just going to kind of go in along the base here and just tone this down a bit at the top. We're kind of losing our gray color there, so. Alright, we'll just do this really quick. Alright, we can always adjust the levels and, and play with the, uh, the contrast. Alright, so just get some of it off the top because it would accumulate obviously along the bottom more than up here. Okay, so just like that maybe. And I'm just going to leave it up on these pieces because it's, uh, it's at the bottom and that's fine. Okay, so let's just give this layer a name. Alright, so we'll go over here and I'm just going to call it maybe Base Grime. Or name it whatever you want. 
Okay, and let's just uh, maybe see if we can uh, adjust this a little bit. So I'm just going to go up here to Image, down to Adjustments, and we'll open up the Levels box for a second. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. I don't want it to be too intense. We might actually layer some more stuff on here, so we'll try to keep it somewhat subtle. Right, that's too dark. And again, this will, you know, depend on your monitor. Um, if it looks too bright or too dark, just uh, adjust it to where you feel it needs to be. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little adjustment like that. We'll say OK, and then I'm also going to open up the uh, hue saturation here. Alright, I'm going to take the saturation down a little bit, just to get rid of some of that color. Alright, just slightly. Alright, let's play with this too. Alright, that's way too dark. Alright, so I'm just going to tweak it a bit, so we'll do like negative 50 on the saturation and negative 5 on the lightness. Uh, but that'll depend on, uh, again, your monitor, okay? Okay, so it's not looking too bad, it's looking a little concrete-like uh, right now, but uh, we'll fix that later. I'm actually just going to layer some more stuff on here. Okay, so we'll open up another uh, image. I'm just going to use the bare metal, I think. Okay, and let's just uh, grab a chunk of this. Alright, I might take this piece right here. Alright, and uh, we'll do Control C, copy it, close it, and we'll just paste it on, Control V. Alright, I'm just going to do uh, Control T, alright, and just rotate this by right clicking 90 degrees clockwise. Alright, I just want to get some scuffs and stuff on here, so that's why I'm doing this again. Alright, so we'll just say enter there maybe. Alright, I think we got a couple of screw holes here, or screw heads, I should say. Alright, as you can see, so let's get rid of those quickly with the uh, healing brush. Alt click. Alright, we'll just click on each one, get rid of them. Okay, and then let's uh, zoom back out. Alright, I'm just going to copy this again. Control A, Control C, and paste it with Control V. Flip it horizontal. Maybe flip it vertically. Alright, just change it up a bit. Okay, we got a bit of a, a shadow line here, so we'll, we'll get rid of that in a second. Let's just uh, overlap them. Alright, hit enter, and we'll paste it one more time. And just uh, fill in the last piece. Okay, like that. Alright, so let's combine them. Alright, I might just actually delete this uh, piece here on the middle one. Alright, so I'm just going to drag a selection around that shadow and just delete it. Alright, we still have a bit of it on the background, but that's okay, we'll fix it. Alright, so let's combine all three of those with Control e uh, We'll go back to the healing brush, and we'll just try to get rid of this. So I'm just going to click over here on the lighter part, okay? And we'll just kind of paint back and forth on this, see if we can get rid of that. This one over here. Then again, take more time, and you know you can do a way better job than this. All right, so we'll just do that, okay? And then uh, let's delete it from uh, up here. All right, delete, get rid of it. Okay, so for this one, uh, I might actually copy this and overlay it on our our legs up here too. So I'm just going to do that right now. So Control A, Control C, Control V. Alright, and we'll just drag this up to the top again. Alright, just stick it maybe at something like that, and then let's combine them. Control E. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to our uh, paint layer, and with the magic wand, just select the paint layer again, and then go back up to our new layer and hit delete. Okay, just like that. And I think for this one, I'm just going to try it on multiply. We're just going to darken it up, uh, you know, significantly, as you can see. Alright, so let's take the opacity down a little bit. I don't think it needs to be that dark. Alright, we'll do maybe 70 or so, and I'll multiply. Okay. And I'm just going to call it Base Grime 2. Okay. So let's just do a save quickly. And we'll jump over into Max and just see how it looks. Alright. 
it, so it's it's looking a little too dark, I think, on the base. Alright, I don't want this uh, to be that yellow or brownish looking. Okay, so we'll have to tone that down a bit. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Photoshop.